Hi, my name is Karen Krumenacher, and I'm one of Google's biggest fans. I want to become a Google Certified Trainer so that I can share the excitement of Google with students and teachers. Thanks so much for watching my video. I've spent 29 years teaching in the Brandywine Heights Area School District in Topton, Pennsylvania. The first 21 years of my career were spent in the classroom, while the last eight have been spent as the K-5 technology teacher and coach. I was thrilled with the opportunity to design and implement our technology curriculum, as well as the chance to inspire our teachers with technology in the classroom. As a technology coach, I continue to design and implement professional development training, and I get to go into the classroom to coach and guide our teachers with using technology. For me, one of the best parts of my job is when I'm able to help a teacher feel successful trying something new in technology. Google has certainly helped me do that. Hi everyone, today I'd like to talk to you about inserting and working with images in Google Slide. The first thing you need to do is go up to the toolbar and choose Insert and then Image. Once you click Image, you have a search box where you can type the name of what you are looking for. In this case, I typed in Plymouth Plantation. If you click the little search button, you will get all kinds of images that Google has found for you. Once you've found the image you would like to use, simply click on it and click Select. The image is then inserted by Google onto your slide. In order to resize an image, I like to use one of the corner squares. By doing this, it keeps my picture proportional as I make it smaller or larger. If you don't do that and you try to resize by using the side buttons, you could end up with a distorted image. No worries though, if you do, simply click Control and Z together, the undo buttons, and it will restore your, your image for you. The next thing I want to show you is how to crop your image, and we will be using the crop tool to do that. So simply click here, and you will get lines. So drag the lines up and in to get rid of the parts of the image that you do not want to use. Once you have your picture the way you want it, simply click Crop again to finalize it. And again, you can resize it to make it whatever size you want. One other thing I would like to show you is underneath Image Options. If you click Image Options, on the right-hand side, you get a panel. Underneath No Recolor, what you can do is you can click on different options for the coloring of your image. I kind of like the sepia one, and it, it gives an old-fashioned coloring to the photo. But that's something that's fun to experiment with. The last thing I want to show you is this little handle. And this handle allows you to turn the image and angle it. Thanks for watching this video, and please contact me if you have any questions. Have a great day.